nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Thanks so much for talking sure. to me. I absolutely love this show. Thank and you. And I love, more than anything, I love the fact that it, it feels so real. I mean, it really yeah, does. Thank and, you. Uh, it doesn't seem, you know, it's funny without being all parody like. Sure. Um, well, our show, it, it, it is an underdog story. I think that's why all the characters are so lo lovable. They're all a little bit lost, and mm -hmm. now they're finding themselves in an unexpected place. Um, in season two, you know, the women on the show, season one was all about empowerment, self-empowerment, th them sort of discovering this crazy side of themselves they had no idea about. And it, it felt like the sky's the limit. And in season two, they're hitting up against, they're, they're bumping some real life limits. They're hitting that glass ceiling in terms of, you know, women's issues. It is the 80s. All this stuff is just as relevant now. Yeah. And we are sort of seeing them hit this spot where they, where they realize that the men still do have the power and are still sort of dictating what they are going to be doing with their lives, with their bodies. So and it's difficult. And also I think that the, the way that the show works with you know, having the women working on the wrestling, then having the wrestling, and then also having the issues that everyone's dealing with, and having you know Sam be this strange, like almost uh, you know bad male force. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. but there's Sometimes. something there's something yeah. about the wrestling and about the the common movement and and uh, collaborative you know nature of putting the show on that kind of tempers all the other real life stuff and it mm -hmm. makes it a little more accessible and a little more relatable because you know they're all moving towards this big thing yeah right. it is a positive show yeah. yeah yeah i feel that i really do i kind of i um weirdly identify with them i think it's because right. they're all in their hearts uh actresses so yeah. you really That's really right. just yeah. want to be up there on the stage even if it's not ring so yeah. that actually comes through really oh, <laughs> great. Well, so. great well, well they're, they're all actually thing. it's like there's this meta thing with them yeah. you know what i mean because they're all are they all really are actresses who well, found yeah. ourselves actually. on this show doing <laughs> unexpected things yeah. so there is a meta element mm -hmm. i also feel like a great thing about the show is you can enjoy it on a number of different levels like obviously we tap into some deeper stuff we talk about real life issues but in a subtle way there's right. no heavy handedness to it and if people want to tap into those deeper things they can if people just want to be entertained and have fun yeah. it's got that too yeah absolutely and um i was wondering actually about that for you being an actress then playing this person who is kind of coming into her own yeah, power yeah. you know i mean do you is there a parallel in your own life where Definitely. you came, like made that crossing over yeah i think getting this role and working on this show yeah, has really, really made You've me feel got like a i'm resume coming on into you. my it's, own it's amazing. yeah <laughs> coming into my own though as an actress and sort of being seen the way i've wanted to be seen for the first time right. which feels really good yeah. Do you ever feel like the heavy really bad? Sure. It's just like right. when you beat up. It's okay. I, I don't mind. Yeah, well, how heavy am I? I'm the one guy. <laughs> yeah. You know, like how much control do heavy I really have? Heavy by default. Have? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just thank you thank so you. much. Thank I just you. really love the show. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.